Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I've got quite a busy week this week. I'm kind of here, there and everywhere. So I just thought I'd pick up the camera and let's just see, see what happens this week. Take you with me. Um, I'm just getting ready. Well, I am ready. I'm just putting all my jewels on. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows I'm just so obsessed with chunky gold jewellery. I can't go anywhere without wearing it. I feel actually bald if I'm not wearing it. So I thought I'd show you some little bits that I'll literally wear every single day. So I've got this ring. Please excuse all the bent, deformed fingers if you're new here. Lots of horsey injuries on these fingers. I will never be a hand model. That dream was officially destroyed years ago. But this is my Fendi ring that I absolutely love. I always wear this on like my ring finger on my right hand. Speaking of rings, by the way, just talking the other day and um, obviously I broke my hand last year. I had an operation on this finger and now it's just all bent and weird. Um, but it's obviously my, it's my wedding ring finger and look at it. I literally cannot get a ring on it because the knuckle just goes out so much and then it goes back to like normal shaped finger that any ring large enough to get over that knuckle, it would just be rattling up and down. If there's anyone watching that's ever had this problem where you can't wear, because that's obviously a, a wedding ring finger, I'm not engaged, I'm not married, but I was just thinking when that time comes, what am I going to do? Am I just going to have to accept that I've got to wear one on this finger instead? I don't know. I've always, I've always liked a gold, um, what am I trying to say, like a gold band um, from like an engagement ring. Because I wear gold jewellery, I prefer to have it gold, but then surely you can't get an extendable gold ring? I don't, I, I honestly don't know much about it at all. But yeah, if there's anyone out there that's had this problem, do I just have to accept that I won't be able to wear a ring on that finger? I don't know. Anyway, that's my first ring. Went off on some right tangent there. This was my ring I got a couple of Christmases ago that I treat myself to my Christian Dior ring. I always wear that on my thumb. Love a thumb ring. And then the others, I don't actually know where some of these others are from. I've just had them that long. This one I wear on my other thumb is from Daniel Wellington, my little band. And then I've got this one, which is kind of like three rings in one. I always wear on my middle finger when I can get it on. There we go. So I always wear that one there. Don't know where it's from. And then I've got this one, just a little gold ring that I wear on like my index finger and this is all me jeweled up I do want more I, I honestly I would be so weighed down by gold jewelry if I could I love it and then I've got my earrings today these were a Christmas present little Fendi hoops which I absolutely love they're such a good size they're not too big because I think if they were too big I don't know I'd feel a bit like feel a bit of Vicky Pollard do you know what I mean I think they're like a good little hoop size also if you can see a hint of the mess behind you trust me that's just the tip of the iceberg this whole side of the room is in absolute chaos basically yesterday i decided i'd start the clear out process of kind of putting away some of like my wintery clothes and i just didn't finish it and it was one of those jobs that i started and i was like i shouldn't have even attempted this i just didn't have the time so now it's literally hell in this room but we're gonna move with it Anyway, I'm just getting my bag together. I'm gonna to put my coat, where's my jacket? Here's my jacket. Oh, I absolutely love this jacket. It's from um, Princess Polly. I think I showed it you in a vlog a couple of weeks ago. And I really love black and brown at the minute together, like just this color combo. Ooh, really, really enjoying it. Anyway, I am going down to London today. So I'm actually going to a hair salon. I've been invited down um, with the brand Keratase. So I'm having a special blow dry. It's some, I don't even, I don't want to butcher what it's called. It's some Fusio treatment. Some very posh, lovely treatment. Um, so I'm going to go down, I'm having that done. And then I'm going to have a little mooch about. That's why I wanted to take the camera with me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you down. And then later in the week, I've got an event at the end of the week um, in Manchester that I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I've got hair on my lip. Hope you've all had, I don't know when this vlog's going live, probably the end of the week. Hope you've all had a good week. Hope you're having a nice weekend. And yeah, enjoy the vlog, guys. Let's go down to London. Also, in case you're wondering what lip combo I've got on today, that is also quite a common question that I get. So lip liner that I use is MAC Strip Down. Wow, thanks camera for focusing. There we go. So lip liner I tend to use, like literally the name has come off. That's how much I use it, is MAC Strip Down. Wow, this camera is really struggling to focus on that. Anyway, I use that on my lips. And then just on the Cupid's bow and just underneath my lip, I use, just like in the center, 
I use Sweet Tea from Morphe. And then my lipstick is one of my all-time faves, to be honest. It's MAC Peach Stock. Such a good everyday nude. Pretty much wear this every single day. So yeah, that's the lip combo for today, guys. Right, and now I need to actually pack my bag and get moving. It's electric when you kiss me. Never felt this way before. We're magnetic, wanna stay here closer than close. Up in the clouds, I can see the whole world now. Breathtaking world, can't believe my eyes. Up in the sky, I can see the whole world tonight. Cause you make me feel like I wanna get lost in your paradise. You make me Right, I've had my hair washed, had a lovely massage chair while I was having a wash, it's very nice. And now I've got the lovely Samuel from Cutting Duty here. So what we're doing is, I'm just, as you all know, if you follow me, I've had a blunt bob now for years. And I've been growing it out the last sort of six months. So what I've noticed is my hair has just stayed blunt as it's grown. So what we're doing is we're kind of like feathering out the ends a little bit, just taking some of the heaviness out of it. It's looking very nice, it's coming together. There we go, just had it styled. Can you see how much, look how much movement I've got in my hair now. I feel like I used to move my head and I'd almost feel like I was wearing a wig and my whole hair, my whole hair would come with me. Whereas now, can you see how I just feathered out these ends? It looks so good, thank you so much. You are so welcome. <laughs> really nice. Just had a little makeup refresh. Look how lovely that is looking. Had the lovely Carl doing my makeup back there. <laughs> Just freshened up. Used a bit of, what did we use? The Lancome concealer. Let's have a look what we used. Some of the new oh, concealer. I used to love the foundation. Tanadol, yeah. Really is that good. how you pronounce it? Tanadol, ultra I, yeah, yeah. I used to butcher that then when I used to use that. <laughs> right, I've just finished up. Look how cute this goodie bag is. Got some flowers. I also took some really cool pictures with Rebecca Spencer. I'll pop a few on screen now. They were so, so nice. So I'm just out here now in Belgravia and I'm gonna head over, I think, one second, but I think I'm gonna go and head down to um, like H&M home and just have a little mooch around the ho house, little home shops. Also need to find some food because I'm absolutely starving. Got back in the car, just got back from London. Andy's picked me up from the train station, but he doesn't want to be on camera because he's not very well at the minute. He's got a bit of, he's got a touch of the man flu, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that, I had it last week. I had a really bad cold for literally like 48 hours, and then I was absolutely fine, but 
and oh let me put this down here actually oh is that gonna be all right there yeah but um andy's always bragging that he's never ill and he's got it now but anyway just on our way home it was a really nice day actually the um guys at the salon were so lovely oh, also they were really lovely but i also um realized i have been completely butchering the name of that hair brand like i feel like it's the accent i feel like with a brummy accent if something's got a very posh fancy name i sound i just sound daft trying to say it posh if that makes sense but the guy came over in the salon and was like are you ready for your kerastasi treatment and i was like oh this is embarrassing because i've definitely not been referring to it as that i think i called it keratase this morning <laughs> on the <laughs> same thing if that's what you've heard me call it but no it was really nice i had like a nice hair wash oh my god i was sat in like the massage chair while my hair was being washed what a lovely monday like how nice to spend the day it is nearly quarter to six we're also having a little drive by the house just to have a little look just to see what it's looking like check it's still there but um it's just it's too tempting it's like because we've got a few a couple of months to wait yeah it's just so tempting just to keep going having a look at it and then yeah get home and have some dinner good morning guys it is the next day i wanted to show you like what i bought home from the event yesterday but by the time we got back yesterday it was just so dark we drove by the house to have a look at it which is exciting it was quite dark so it was hard to see but um, when we got there there was a huge big pile of gravel on the drive so that's um, obviously for like the front driveway it's just very exciting at the minute i can't wait to move i'm so so excited so sorry if i keep babbling on about it but it's just you know how it is moving house it's very exciting slightly stressful but good times anyway so we got home last night sorry if you can hear bolly just munching his breakfast um we got home last night and then what did we have for dinner we did a prawn like noodly stir fry for dinner which was very nice and now it's the next morning i'm so glad i went down to london when i did because it is disgusting this morning it's so rainy and miserable so i'm very glad that it was yesterday not today my hair if you can see it a little bit more i've styled it this morning i've actually not touched it with any heat this is literally how it was styled yesterday all i've done is use a little bit of the bumble and bumble salt spray um through my hair and hairspray and then i've just kind of pinched it together like this to kind of create a bit more texture but yeah that's just what i've been doing i've kind of liked having a bit of just more of a just a little bit of a bend in my hair rather than full-blown curly curly hair i do it do you want to go outside ball go on then oh see you later but anyway, let me show you what I bought back from yesterday. Firstly, here are my lovely flowers. Look how nice and just springy these look. Pop them in a vase of water. I've got my goodie bag. I've also had another parcel arrive um, today, which I'm gonna open up with you as well. But just look at my table at the minute. Butterflies, flowers. I feel like it's very, very springtime on this table right now. But this was, so this was what the um, event was all about. This product, the Chroma Absolute. So it's a resurfacing high shine rinse treatment for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. So I'm excited to give this a go. Let me get it out of its packaging so we can have a look. There we go, so this is what it looks like. So you use this once a week um, and you use it on shampoo, towel dried hair, leave it on your hair for a couple of minutes and then rinse it off. And yeah, just provide your hair with all of the goodness. So I do have my hair coloured at the hairdressers. So this is something that I'm going to use and yeah, see how I get on. Also had a really cute little comb in the bag as well. I'm going to open up this. So I've had this arrive from Too Faced, the Too Femme PR package. So let's just move all this out of the way. Here we go. Da, da, da. Wow, look. Oh my God, this is so 
girly and spring summery. This is probably what I needed to open on a miserable day like today. Look at my outdoor furniture, just getting absolutely annihilated by the rain. But how cute is this? So we've got a couple of mascaras, absolute OG, better than sex mascara. Love this one. So I've got the normal one and the waterproof. We've got some lipsticks to try. This blush. Oh, wow. It's got like gold reflex in the butterflies. That's cute. Some um, eyeshadow primer. And then a very cute... Oh, how cute is that? Little eyeshadow palette. Those are very, very spring summer colours. I did actually have a sneak peek at this earlier and I need to show you my favourite colour from the box. So it's nothing compares to you. I'll just open it. This is very difficult with one hand, but look at these lipsticks. I'll go over here so it'll focus. Look at these lipsticks. They've got a little heart in the middle. So the heart is supposed to be like a nourishing balm part of the lipstick. How gorgeous is this red colour? It's kind of like a corally red. My favourite kind of red for summer. I think it's so, so nice. This is the shade. Nothing, oh, nothing compares to you in case you're interested. But yeah, what a lovely parcel. Anyway, I have some work to be cracking on with today. Look how dark the rest of the house is. It's such a miserable day, honestly. I have some filming that I need to do. So, hello, Des. Come on then, let's have a little cuddle. I'm sure everyone wants to say hi to you. Are you gonna say hello? Oh, no, we're just gonna sit here. She's like, can we just not work today? And can we just sit here? Should we have a sofa day? It's raining. Should we have a sofa day and watch some films? You'd love that, wouldn't you? You would absolutely love that, wouldn't you? Would that be good? Would that be good? <laughs> I'm going to go and crack on with some work. Bolly's also got a trip to the vets today because he's got his pre-op appointment for the... We've not told him yet that he's having it done, but... Yep, he's having the old snip snip, isn't he? Yep, here she is pouring me for attention. Yes, as always. Um, but yeah, he's having the snip in a couple of weeks. So obviously they just need to check everything's all right check it's all there check it's ready to be uh removed <laughs> so yeah that's um that's my plan for the day it's on the bed what for me yeah yeah well i'm gonna eat this then i've got three outfits left fine right, are you eating that now yeah all right let me make a quick call okay this is the reality of filming next door to your boyfriend's home office as well halfway through filming i'm eating a smoked salmon bagel and I've got three more outfits to do and Andy needs to make loads of calls. This is why in the new house, me and Andy are going to be on completely different floors when it comes to where we work from. And that is filming finished up for the day. I've got this new um, tracksuit on. Well, it's not brand new. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, but it's from another version. How lovely is the colour of this? Gorgeous, gorgeous lilac colour. I'm so glad I managed to get all that filming done because it's just one of those days where it's so dark and gloomy outside. I'd have struggled if I'd have been filming anymore. But it's now time for me to get on the sofa and get my editing done. Oh, hello. Let's have a little update from the puppy dogs. Hello. Guys, you need to see how big Bolly is now. How big are you? Oh my God. I need to show you how big he is. Are you bigger than Desi? What have you got in your mouth? Your toy. You got your toy. He's bigger than you, isn't he, sweetheart? Look at the size of him. He is one big boy. Also, he had his pre-op check today. I've just come to sit by you and you've walked off. Come here. He had his pre-op check today for having the snip and he's a very healthy boy, aren't you? Oh my God, the vet did, mate did make us laugh didn't didn't she bolly they obviously have to check to make sure everything's there and all intact and ready to come off and she said and i quote bolly has the balls of a warrior the balls of a warrior what is that supposed to mean let's just say he's a very healthy boy <laughs> so yeah she was very pleased with him said he was very healthy he, they did like a full MOT on him, said he's, he was the perfect weight, size, 
for a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah, very nice, healthy boy. Are you okay, madam? Are you okay over there, my little madam? Anyway, I am going to get on the sofa and edit this video. And then, what we're having for dinner tonight? Let me go and have a look, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, I've just remembered. We're having for dinner tuna steaks. One of my favourite foods ever. I love a tuna steak. With potato salad and corn on the cob. We're having a standoff. Playing tug of war with the toy. Who's going to win? Give it me, then. Can someone just win? We've been in this position for a very long time. <laughs> Are we doing this again? <laughs> so for dinner tonight, we're having quite an easy dinner, but it's genuinely one of my faves. So we've got some nice, fresh tuna steaks from M&S. Honestly, these are so, so good. Um, I'm doing a really easy, quick like potato salad. It's literally just baby potatoes, mayonnaise, lemon juice, uh, salt and pepper, and fresh chives. So, so nice. It's like an easy side dish. So I'm about to put those on to boil. Um, and then some nice corn on the cobs. So yeah, that is dinner for tonight. I'll show you when it's done. And then this is tonight's dinner. I just seasoned the tuna steaks with some salt, pepper, and some lemon, potato salad, corn on the cob, which I'm about to put some butter on now. But yeah, that is tonight's yummy dinner. I have officially been the worst vlogger this week. It's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera, I'm not gonna lie to you, but in my defense, it's been such a busy, hectic week with work and just house stuff. There's just been a lot going on this week where it's not that I haven't wanted to pick the camera up, but like, I don't just wanna show you all boring stuff. And it would literally be me just showing you filming videos or sat editing a video. It's not very fun content, to be honest. Um, I've just, honestly, I've just kind of been all go. So yeah, I apologize for that. But anyway, I have a little bit more of like an interesting day today. So I have just done my skincare and just shoved on an outfit for the day. Um, we're actually going over to see the house today. We've got a meeting with um, the builder. Just need to finalize a couple of bits. I think we're kind of finalizing the flooring today which is very exciting. We should be moving in, we think around the end of April, beginning of May, but yeah, just all going well anyway. But yeah, that's so where, that's where we're heading to in a minute. I'm just about to make me and Andy like a bagel to take because we're gonna kind of miss lunch, so we're gonna eat it in the car. And then after that, I'm actually jumping in the car and I'm going to Manchester for an event tonight. So it's an event with Mac and Look Fantastic, which slightly fangirling about because my first ever foundation I bought was Mac. Mac Studio Fix Fluid was like the OG back in the day. So it feels quite full circle that I'm going to a Mac event. So yeah, I'm gonna take you with me there tonight. I've got quite a fun outfit for tonight. I'm very excited to show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> Oh my god, my voice just went there. But I've just popped downstairs to grab a drink and I want to quickly show you these I've been um, trying. So these are the Hair Burst Chewable Hair Vitamins and I've not used these before. This isn't an ad, by the way. I am just quite curious to see if they make a difference. So I know I wear hair extensions, but I do have naturally quite fine hair. They've got like a whole load of good stuff in them, like biotin, zinc... A load of vitamins so even if i don't notice the difference in my hair it's got to be doing some good do you know what i mean it's putting good stuff in my body that's the way i see it so i've just been taking two of these every morning and one thing i will say is oh my god they taste so so nice so yeah i'll keep you updated with what i think of them but just thought i'd show you something new that i've been trying right i've literally got you balancing in the most dodgy spot ever so if you suddenly fall to the floor and bang your head i'm so sorry but i thought i'd quickly show you like the outfits that i'm kind of stuck between they're very similar but i'm a bit stuck i think i'm going to take both but yeah so first up these are both from the same place by the way and i'm hunched over because if i stand up oh no you can't see me oh wow 
So these are both from SLA. So first up, look at this. It's like this sparkly suit. So it's like a cropped blazer. Um, it's kind of in this dark grey silver colour with all the sparkles. If you watched my Vlogmas, I actually wore this when we had our friends around for our little like Christmas get together. So it's got the matching trousers, crop blazer. So, and I love, I absolutely love the fit of this one. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck between this and the other one. And then this is very out there. This is, I mean, I might stop traffic if I wear this one. <laughs> this bright silver suit, it's honestly, incredible again i love the fit of it i've never i haven't actually had the chance to wear this out anywhere same with the other one to be honest i've wore it in the house but it's both of these suits i haven't left the house so i'm a bit upset about that so this is like bright bright silver it's got the oversized blazer the trousers and then there is like a matching bralette so yeah, I, I can't decide between the two. I think they're both, they're both a statement. Let's, you know, let's not beat around the bush. They are bright and silver and sparkly, but I don't know which one to wear. So I think I'm going to take both and then I'm going to do my hair and makeup and just see, and try them both on and just see which one I feel more comfortable in. But I think in terms of hair and makeup tonight, I think I'm actually going to have my hair up. It is hair wash day. So when I woke up, I was like, oh, shall I wash my hair? I know, first world problems, I know, but I was just, then I was looking at my outfits and I was like, do you know what, for both of them, I love how an oversized blazer looks when your hair is like sleek and up in a nice bun. So I think I'm going to have my hair up, which is great because it means no hair washing day. I can live another day without washing my hair today. I'm just, I can't bear the thought of washing my hair and then putting loads of hairspray and gel in it just to wear it up. I'm not doing it. So yeah, those are the outfits for tonight that I'm gonna take with me. I am just about to put my coat and boots on now and then we're off to go and see the house. I wish I could show you it. I really wish I could show you it, but you just, you're gonna have to wait until it's like moving day, but I'm very excited. I have just arrived in Manchester. That was the most hellish drive ever. There was so much traffic and I'm now running so late. I've not eaten anything, so yeah. I'm gonna be fashionably late to this one. I need to get ready, so I'm not gonna chat for too long. I will quickly show you the room. I've literally got my little ring light set up here so I can sit and do my makeup. I've got a bed. Into the bathroom. And this is me. So I'm gonna have one of those really awkward moments where I have to literally run downstairs to grab my food and have like half a face of makeup done. So I'm gonna try and rush and get ready and then show you what I look like when I'm ready. Oh my God, I feel like an absolute mess. I don't even know, I still don't know what outfit I'm wearing. I still don't know how I'm doing my makeup. <sighs> this just is typical me. I'm behind already before I've even started. And that is my makeup all done. So in the end, I decided to go for the silver suit. I was feeling quite brave. Oh, by the way, Someone you've never met before. It's my oh, good hey. friend, Rachel. Hey. She's also my cousin. So if you think, oh God, do they look like sisters? A little bit, a little bit. We have got the Jonesy teeth, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I picked up a little stray while I've been in the room. She's coming to play. <laughs> so um, she's coming with me. I've, I've just said, I feel like it's show and tell. I'm just, I'm taking you with me to a event. Look what I bought. <laughs> So, yeah, she's coming with me. Um, she bought us some uh, tinnies. Tinnies and <laughs> tinnies of G&Ts because I can't physically go to an event without having at least one drink because... Or two. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> or three. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I decided to go for like the dark eye look instead and then... Went for the silver suit, just feeling very, um, very brave. Rach kind of convinced me just to go for the silver. And then I've got with me, let me grab it. I've just bought, where's the light there? I've just bought a bright pink bag and I thought, yeah, just pop of colour. I'll show you in the mirror. There we go. Sorry, the light is absolutely fantastic. But um, yeah, so this is the outfit on, silver suit. It's got the little matching silver bra line. And then pink bag. And then I've just done my hair in a sleeky deeky little bun. And we are about to head off now. So I'll take you with me. I probably won't take my actual camera actually. I'll probably vlog 
on my phone. But yeah, I'll take you with me and show you. I don't really know what to expect because it says it's a ball. So I'm like, how formal is this ball gonna be? I've got a bright pink handbag. And me. And Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, excuse me, can you leave your pink bag and her at the door? Well, it is definitely not the next day. I was not able to pick up my camera yesterday after the Mac and Look Fantastic event. Let's just say I'm never ever drinking Jaeger bombs ever again in my life. I'm done, I'm retiring. But the event was really, really nice actually. Um, it was at this new venue, it was at like a new restaurant in Manchester and it looked really, really nice. I think I did get some footage on my phone while I was out and they'd done out the place really nice. Um, but yeah, it's for the new Mac mascara that they've bought out. So I'm excited to try it. But yeah, it was just really nice. Bumped into a few people that I know. So yeah, it was just a really lovely evening. But um, today is Sunday. Uh, we've just literally got back from taking the dogs on a really long walk got home freshened up and now we're heading out for a roast dinner which i cannot wait for i'm absolutely starving we've not actually been out for a roast dinner in so long so yeah it'll be really nice but i just wanted to jump on and just update you and end this vlog here because i'm going to get home after this dinner and edit this so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye